happy feast of St. John of the Cross. My name is John Love. I am from the United States. I have been married for 18 years, and my wife and I have eight children. Uh, I'm a theologian, and I teach at Mount St. Mary's Seminary in Maryland, USA. I wrote my doctoral thesis on the Eucharistic spirituality of St. John of the Cross, and Edizione Carmelitane is publishing this year my updated study of this topic. I began reading um, St. John of the Cross at age 17, um, about a year before I had started reading Teresa of Avila's Interior Castle. Uh, and then my father gave me uh, John of the Cross's collected works in English. Um, and once I started reading his writing, I've never stopped going back to it. Um, maybe I can show you. Uh, this is my copy in English, and you can see the pages are all bent and everything. I've read it over and over. I found um, John of the Cross put into clear words some of the things I was experiencing in my prayer. Um, one thing, he, his analysis of human imperfection seemed to go deeper than other spiritual authors, as he talks about all the ways in which we can turn away from God and um, turn towards different good things, but in a bad way. I, I felt he was, he was helping me go deeper and deeper. He's unmasking the sins and the distorted attitudes that keep us from going deeper with God. And he was a spiritual guide uh, who continued to lead and inspire me to greater holiness. Uh, St. John also showed me that God is close even when we feel that he's far away. Growing up, I had many difficult experiences, including my parents' long and combative divorce and some other serious challenges too. And I wasn't thinking about this at the time, but when I look back, as I was reading St. John, he explains that God is near to us always, even if we're not aware of his presence. So especially in my suffering, this was a message I needed to hear, that God is close. Um, John writes so vividly and perceptively about purification, but his joy about finding God, both during intense purification and after they have transformed a person, is really attractive to me. It was attractive when I first started reading, and it's still attractive. Uh, it makes me want to read him again and again. Um, the darkness of purification is not the absence of God, St. John tells us but a sign that he is working to burn away sin and imperfection. God does this so that we can be closer to him, embracing and appreciating his life within our souls. John shows us that Emmanuel, our God, is always with us. He loves us so much that he will transform us in the fire of his love to be with him and to be like him. St. John, speaking about the Christian life and growth and holiness, within the idea of God's love was attractive and appealing to me. Uh, it must be God's providence that my family name is also love. In my book, I have too many underlines to mention, but I'll pick a few. Um, one line John has in Dark Knight, book one, chapter 10, section six, he says, contemplation is nothing else than a secret and peaceful and loving inflow of God. That's the, the message uh, about God's closeness, all in one line. Uh, John's poetry, especially in the original Spanish, is tremendous. It's really exceptional. Um, my favorite passage in the poetry is at the end of Spiritual Canticle B, stanza seven, where John writes in English, in translation, of ah, I don't know what behind their stammering. In Spanish, it is un non se que que quedan balbuciendo. So when writing about stammering to put God's presence into words, John makes the speaker stammer with the repetition of the K sound. No se que que quedan. Lovely. Um, when he does that, he draws you into the experience. He, he makes you say the thing that he's trying to describe. So fantastic. Mm -hmm. 
I think um, John tells us that God is present. He loves us with great intensity and longing to be with us. God wants to heal our soul, our wounds. He wants to draw us to himself and to share his life with us. This is good news in any time, but I think it is especially important now. St. John is a great writer and Christian theologian, uh, but more than this, he is a friend and intercessor. Uh, he spent countless hours of prayer um, in his life, and he cared for so many people as a pastor and a shepherd of souls. And I think he does that for us, too. Uh, he prays for us, uh, and from heaven and through his writings, he guides us along the path to salvation. The way St. John has formed my idea about my life as a Christian, um, as a life that's given to love, as a life that is, is filled with God's presence, I think it helps me to, to, you know, to see when, when life is difficult, when life is challenging, um, when, when life is good, in all the moments God is present, God's love is, is calling me is to, to imitate him, to be like him. John uses the image of the fire of God's love. And the fire burns away our imperfections, and then the fire changes the wood into, into coal, into fire, into red, burning hot fire. So God's love changes us and makes us, <clears throat> makes us like him. Um, and so I think in any Christian vocation, and for me in marriage, I need, I need to live... As, as a person filled with love, as a person who receives love from God and receives love from my family, and as a person who gives love to God and to my family. Um, so the, the way St. John describes Christian life and the way he describes how God's love works in us and with us, I think that it's very clearly um, a good model for how to live as a good husband, how to live as a good father. I would recommend that people read John of the Cross. Young people, people in different situations, uh, different, different vocations, uh, read John of the Cross because um, all people experience darkness, experience suffering, experience challenges difficulties and maybe maybe more today um younger people experience challenges experience difficulty um and john of the cross speaks about the darkness he speaks about hope in the darkness and he speaks about god is present to us he doesn't abandon us he's with us and god will will work in the darkness. He will work in our suffering and, and change us. He will save us. He will bring light into the darkness. He will bring warmth into the darkness, uh, the warmth of God's love, the warmth of, of God's presence. And, and we can also discover God's desire, his longing to be with us. Um, I think when I, when I teach students about John of the Cross, I use Father Ian Matthews' book, Impact of God. So it's in English, you know, for, you know, easier for English speakers. But, but I think Father Ian Matthew does a really good job of showing how John of the Cross sees God as, as longing to be with us, as, as pursuing us, as coming after us. Same, the same as we see in... Um, Song of Songs in the Bible, um, God is, is searching for us. He's looking for us, and, and he wants to be with us so desperately.